So there are all those new AI IDE out there like Windsurf and Cursor, and each of them, because they build on top of VS Code, come with a little terminal area that allow you to essentially use AI with your terminal. And if you are like me and you've been using iTerm2 for quite some time, you were probably wishing that there were a really good AI code editor out there. And I've tried to use some plugin that allow me to essentially add OpenAI to my iTerm terminal, but it's not the best experience out there. So I was looking over the web and I came across, I believe, one of the best AI code editor out there. And this editor is called Warp. I just spent some time using it today, and I have to say that I'm completely mind blown. This code editor is beautiful. They're, they use a new technique for essentially everything. So the, their approach to how you're using the code editor, it looks when you're looking at your history, all of the different features are absolutely incredible. And I'm going to show you what I've learned from it and why I love it so much. And if you're curious about where you can get it, you can literally just have to go to warp.dev and you'll be able to see um, the link to download warp and use it yourself. And as you can see, this is absolutely beautiful. The way they build this thing is as if they were like building a terminal from the ground up and make it way better. And considering all of the things that you wish you had in the code editor. So if, even if you're using a terminal like Vim, and you used to, you know, use your keyboard over the mouse, they already have all the shortcut that you may need in order to use it just like you were exactly in Vim. But it's not only that, you can actually do it in a much more beautiful way. And it comes with a bunch of themes that you can use. So I've used Cyberwave, but you have options like Phenomenon, uh, Fancy Dracula, Willow Dreams, Red Rocks, and more. And then honestly, like I'm really like mind blown by all the beauty this code editor has, like all the features he has, and honestly, it's probably the best code editor that I've seen out there. I was looking across all the different pages and I came across a page that actually compare Warp versus other uh, terminal. So if you're using Mac Terminal, for example, you can see how much better it is than Mac Terminal. This terminal was built in Rust. Uh, and you can see that, for example, you don't have mouse and cursor support on Mac terminal. And actually, even if you look at other terminal like Alacrity, which by the way, I didn't even know existed, but that's another terminal that you can find here, or Charm, which is a really cute looking terminal that I've never heard about before. And and Fig, which was acquired by Amazon um, uh, for Amazon Q, which by the way, didn't really get the best review as you can see. And also compared to my favorite one, iTerm2, well, my favorite one until now, and you can see the differences between the two. So uh, modern editing feature does not allow mouse positioning in input editor for iTerm, but you can do that on Warp. Also Warp allow you support for modern editing keyboards, uh, support for Vim key binding, support for smart selection, offer AI support to generate comments in your terminal. I remember when iTerm released the AI feature, I was really hoping that it would be uh, exactly what I was hoping for, but honestly, it didn't really live up to my expectation and I wasn't really a huge fan of the feature to the point that I actually never use the AI feature on iTerm. I probably might have used it just once, like that's why I'm saying I literally never used it. But oh my gosh, this terminal is beautiful. I just spent some time installing browser use and I, just to show you an example of how it works, if you look over here, I can actually search through the block by heading over find within block. And I can just type it directly here and it will find something in that specific block. So I don't even have to use a command like grep, but even if I wanted to use grep, I can just you know type it here and I'm getting like some suggestion. I can even ask it, for example, how do I use grep to find agents? And he's going to like, respond because not only you can use the command line but you can also directly chat with the agents and you will know right off the bat like if you're uh, asking a question to the agent or if you're typing a comment within your terminal which is absolutely incredible and i have to say the experience when you're doing that is much much better than you will expect let me just scroll back all the way to the top to show you some example of my huge case today so i was trying to install playwright 
And I tapped Playwright install, and he said, let me check if Playwright is installed. Suggested a command that I would run. I pressed enter, he ran the command, then he saw that it was installed. Suggested a command for me to run, which I pressed enter automatically. Then he ran that command. And as I scroll down, you can see here, I ran into some error and I type, how do I run an example here from this project according to the MD docs? Because I wanted to find out how to run an example right away. So I, it just gave me the command to run and told me exactly what I needed to do. And you can see it's just so cool because you can not only use the tool itself, but you can also chat with the AI to help you when you're getting stuck. And that allows you to, to do a lot of really cool stuff. So let's let's have try to do an example right now. I've been trying to use some of those tools. For the tool that I'm trying to use right now are browser use, so automate my browser to do things in the browser. And one thing that I came across today is that Warp actually will also allow me to open files directly within Warp. Really cool feature, so you can open in Warp and see directly in the browser like this. I can head back over here. If I type tab, then it gives me a suggestion of what I type. This man dash, and this will allow you to directly ask Warp AI for a comment suggestion. If you type delete here, you'll see different suggestions. You have history, you have workflow, you have notebook, because this tool not only allow you to to use AI, but it also allow you to have like predefined workflow that you can create and even have notebooks that you can collaborate with other people. So if you're familiar with cursor rules or windsurf rules, imagine having a, a folder where you can define rules for what you need to do or even predefined comments that you want the AI to use in, inside the code or that you want to have access to easily. So you have all of these abilities and then for the workflow, here's some example workflow. It doesn't want a pretty straightforward kill the process running on a port into the last git commit echo and you can see that when i click on my workflow it, it comes right away in the command line and then you can also head over to warp drive and have access to the workflow over here i haven't added anything yet i'm still playing with those with this tool but you can see that you have so many things that you can do you can add environmental variable which i haven't done yet you can also directly connect that to something like one password or last pass if you wanted to add different variables directly from one password. You can add notebooks where you can have documentation directly from here. So think about it like if you were collaborating with someone in your team and you wanted to share documentation for setting up the computer really, really quick. So you can just use this tool and get them set up really easily by just giving access to this tool because these projects I can actually be shared within your team. And on top of that, you can even share your screen session. Not 100% sure if this feature is available for non-paying user because I tried to use it uh, by doing uh, can view right here, but I keep getting an error when I did that. So let's say, can you say, yes, I'm getting an error right here. I haven't been able to figure out why I'm getting this error, but it actually will allow you to share a specific link and also you can share uh, that directly with someone via an email. So you have like all those really incredible features that you can do with it. And honestly, I'm really, really happy with this tool. And I think that in 2025, I'm going to completely switch to, to Warp because this tool is beautiful. You also have agent mode that you can trigger by clicking on agent mode over here, where you can ask the agent to do something for you directly. So it's actually just opening another tab, but also the agent is always available when you're typing a command in the command line. If you don't know how to use it, if you just click on that bubble right here that I just clicked on, you actually have access to all the different shortcuts for getting started, uh, how to maximize warp, uh, advanced setup and more. And also the comment shortcut, which is super helpful if you want to quickly learn how to use warp efficiently. I am still playing with the tool, a lot of things to learn here. Uh, one of the really cool things that I also want to mention is the concept of blocks that I just showed you a bit earlier. What I love about those blocks is that uh, it essentially allow me to focus my interaction with my browser within a specific area. All of these blocks here, all independent. What's cool about them is that I can attach them to my agent. Like, I, so if I wanted to refer to this block, for example, and I can say a question for, uh, is there a file uh, named NA8? And then it will refer to the block and it will check and answer the question. Just imagine how 
helpful this comment can be if you are debugging and you want to refer to a debugging block and want to ask a question when you're trying to debug something in your terminal that can be extremely helpful you can also filter block output which i showed you earlier and it has similar things that you will see in a code editor like reject toggle uh, case sensitive search and invert filter and more and you also have additional option over here, which I'm honestly not really familiar with. I haven't played with all of that, but you can do so many things like sharing the block with someone, for example, and much more. So this is a very collaborative experience for a terminal that I've never seen out there. And I'm really, really impressed by the amount of work and the quality of the user experience that this tool has. If you guys, you know, don't even know how to code or, you know, want to build with AI and want to use a tool that makes it more accessible for you to use a terminal, I do believe that WARP is the best tool out there to allow you to do so. I think it's, a, it's much more accessible to people that don't know how to code. And also it makes people that know how to code even more efficient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this tool. And if you haven't yet, make sure to watch one of those videos right here about how to improve your productivity when using AI ID. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.